Right, here we have a map showing King Cheng School. Imagine you are standing in the basketball court. To the north of you will be the canteen and the hall area. To the east of you will be the library and classrooms. To the south of you, the classroom block. And to the west of you, the school field. So, to find out which end of this ball magnet, which I've labelled with um, bit bits of paper, which end is the North Pole and which end is the South Pole, I'm going to use the magnet itself as a compass. So I need it to be able to turn freely. And in order to achieve that, I'm going to use this piece of string. I'm going to use it to hang the magnet so that it can turn freely. So I'll get some sticky tape and carefully scotch tape the string to the middle of the ball magnet so that when I hang it by the string, it can turn freely and the north and south poles can align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field. And I'll know which, which end is north and which end is south. But I need the ball magnet to be kept far away from any uh, magnetic materials, such as this scissors, or even the table which contains iron nails, because those things can attract the magnet. And I want it to be under the influence of the Earth's magnetic field only. So I'm going to bring it out into the school field or into the basketball court because I know from the map which end of the basketball court is north and which end is south and let's see which way it points. Okay, so here we are in the basketball court and I know that behind me that is the direction that's north because I look at the map and I know that the, the canteen and the school hall is at the northern side of the basketball court. So here I have my improvised compass made out of a ball magnet I'm just going to let it swing freely and I notice okay, it, comes to, it comes to rest with this end facing you pointing south and the other side must be facing north. Let me check, if I turn it around, okay, when it stops spinning, it comes to rest, let me slow it down a bit, it comes to rest with this side facing north and that side facing south. So this side must be the south pole and that this other side facing me must be the north pole because it's facing that side of the basketball court which I know is north. So now I'm just going to take my pen, I'm going to label the north pole with an N so that I know it's north and the other side, the south pole, I'm going to label it with an S so that it's south. Okay, so this is the south pole and this is the north pole of the magnet. And I found that out by using the magnet itself as a compass and finding that the south pole points south and the north pole points behind me, which is north. Okay, pointing towards the hall, which I know is to the north of the basketball court. <laughs>